Hey beauty cutie, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial of this makeup right here. Let me move in closer so you can see. And this side's not done yet, I need to do one more thing, but um, I'm going to do it when I do the other eye. So, um, I've already done like my face and all that stuff, so um, yeah, let's just get started. So, that's it. Alright. Okay. Sorry, I forgot where to start. So I'm just going to start with Max Paint Pot in Painterly. Um, I don't use an eye primer because I feel like you don't need one when you use this. This is a primer and a base all in one. And it's not even like that big of a deal as a base. Like it's not like it transforms the color because it's just so, it's just a natural skin color. Like all it does, I find, is it makes the color when you put it on, it makes it stick and have you have more color payoff opposed to when you just put it like if I put eyeshadow on like because I don't think about this I'm just like in a rush I'm just putting it on and I'm like I look at it and I'm like why does this look different than when I put it on yesterday and I'm like because I didn't put painterly on and I have to I like actually like put painterly over top of it because no matter how much of a rush I'm in I put it on because it makes the world of a difference I just use a finger you like you don't need to use a brush to put this on. And I find that if you use uh, your finger, it like melts it a bit, so it blends into your skin tone more. I don't recommend this if you have like darker skin tone because it won't be your skin tone. It will be like a milky color. If you wanted like to do like a like a look that had like a white base, you could get this too. Just a note. Okay, so then I'm gonna take. Um, sorry, a lot of the products I use today are Mac. Sorry. So, should I turn this off? I feel like it's probably bugging me. Sorry, I, I always listen to the radio when I'm getting ready in the morning. So, um, I'm going to take Hush and All That Glitters from MAC. So like a golden color and a, um, like a pinky white color like that. So I'm going to take those, those two colors and I'm going to take my brush and mix, ooh, this is going to be hard to do here and show you. I'm going to like mix the two of them together. So I'm just like alternating, like, but take a little bit more of the hush color. And I'm going to put this, oh, I turned my mirror. Okay. I'm going to put this. Sorry. So I'm going to put this all over my lid, focusing more on the inner half of my lid. And like, yeah, like putting less down on the outer corner. Getting a little bit more. Let me get closer to the camera here. Oh, sorry. So just like that. Then taking from MAC Mythology, it's just this really gorgeous like copper color and it is extremely sparkly, but I freaking love it. Freaking love it. I'm going to take, oh, P.S., the brush I was just using is just a general shader brush. I got this in my Estee Lauder, like, Christmas kit. It's, like, got glittery handle. It's really cute. I'm going to take, like, the tapered brush that came with that set, too, and pick up some mythology and put this in my crease. So starting in the outer corner... And then working my way up. You don't want to get this too much into the inner corner of your crease. Because it's like a ready kind of, it kind of has like a little bit of a red undertone. It just ends up making you look really tired. And when using this color, make sure to not, like when you tap off the excess, don't tap it off too much because then all the sparkles will fall off. And you want the sparkles. So just kind of applying this. I apply it up a little bit, like in my crease, I can apply it up a little bit, so you can see it when my eyes are open, just like that, and I kind of try to like line my lower lash line a little bit, 
with whatever's left on my brush. Then I'm just going to take this brush, and this is like a really oddly shaped brush. It's from Michaels. It's the Simply Simmons number 8. And I use it, and I just blend the top line, and it is a miracle worker for that. It really just makes the lines really soft. I'm actually going to pick up a little bit with this. I'm just kind of trying to match my other eye. It's kind of hard when you do your eyes at two different times because you're trying to match one to the other. So then, yeah, once you've done that, then I'm going to take... Sorry. Let me just... Okay. Sorry, I'm just very confused as to what's going on right now. Okay. All right, let's take... Um, I'm going to take this, like, wide brush and I'm going to pick up some of the pigment Elegant from um, e.l.f. It's just this really nice, sh not champagne, but it's really like, yeah, kind of like a champagne-y kind of color and it's really super sparkly and I love it. So I'm going to take this and just apply this over top of where I had the mix of Hush and all that glitters. Did you just hear that kid outside scream? <laughs> so, just applying this. Don't go over top of mythology, though. I'm kind of applying it, like, here and along the lower lid area. Pick up a little bit more. I'm actually just going to apply a little bit more to my other eye. Beautiful. So that's what your eyeshadow looks like. You can't really see very well. The lighting isn't very good. You can kind of see it better right here, actually. Oh, this is like a very summery look, too. P.S. Like, you couldn't tell by the title already. This is a very summery spring look. Um, I was inspired. I saw a tutorial. Like, I went back on someone's, um, one of my, like, one person I'm subscribed to. I went, like, way down on the, um, like their videos because I was kind of going through a phase where I was like okay I feel like watching their videos um and I came across this one it was like a summer tutorial and I was like oh I miss summer and I did this tutorial yesterday and I freaking love it so anyways this is my little life story for you then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um from my elf um beauty encyclopedia I I have a review on this now let me just mention this. In my review, I pretty much bashed this product. Now that I use this Painterly Paint Pot, I never really thought of that before, and I pack it on differently. It's actually really good. So um, maybe I'll do a tutorial like all with this, maybe, one day. Comment below and let me know if you want it. Okay. Okay, then I'm just going to take this white up here in the corner, and as you can see, that's my favorite color in this whole entire palette. Like, it's the only one that really works, too. I'm going to take some of that on this big fluffy brush again. I'm going to put this under my eyebrow, and it's super pigmented, so you're going to, like, blend it down. And it just kind of, like, blends the top of mythology, the color, in the crease. I'm going to take some and apply this in my inner corner, too. Every single day I put this color in my inner corner, like, with with no, without fail, like I put it in my corner, inner corner every single, every single freaking day. Then I am going to take Hush on my like tapered brush, and I'm gonna just apply this on like the bottom. You can put painterly on your lower lash line. I just think my concealer makes it stick. Um, so I'm gonna apply this to the halfway point of my lower lash line here. Then I'm going to take all that glitter. So you could use mythology, but because it has such a red undertone, I feel like it just makes me look like I'm tired. So I'm going to take all that glitters and apply that on the outer half. And because all that glitters kind of has like a pink undertone, um, I find it just blends with mythology really nicely. So yeah, then you look like that. Then I'm just going to take, um, sorry, going crazy here, people. Then I'm going to take... Let me, just, let me just close up this pigment before I spill it all over myself. Okay, then I'm going to take um, 
L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Linear Intense Liquid Liner. I freaking love this. I use it every single day. This is another thing without fail. I use it every day. And you're going to make a line really close to your lash line. You don't want it to be too thick because all I really want it to do is make my lashes look fuller at the base. I don't want it to look like I have major eyeliner on because it has to look kind of natural. So I'm sorry if my mirror, okay, it goes in front of it. But I get really close to my mirror when I do this. So let's see if I get in the frame when I'm doing this. I don't know where to put my hand because the computer's in the That was too bad. So, ooh, I hope I was in frame. Um, so what I did was I go from the middle, because that's where you want the thickest point to be, because that's where you want your lashes to look the fullest is at the middle. I take middle out and then back to the middle in. And you want your line in really super thin because if it's thick down there, it just looks so unnatural and weird. And you're gonna curl your lashes. I don't curl them for that long, my eyelashes. I find that the curl lasts, like, even if I take off my makeup, which I do, um, I find that the curl just lasts, like, my, I've been doing it, I've been curling my lashes, like, so, like, for so long that, like, my lashes are just, like, naturally curled now, which is good, I guess. So then I'm gonna apply some mascara. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal, um, Paris Voluminous, um, Waterproof. Now. This, my mom has been using this mascara for, like, my whole life, and I remember when I was younger, like, I kind of knew about makeup, because my mom worked, um, at the bay at, like, one, like, the makeup counters, and I'm sorry, I'm really hot, I'm gonna take off my sweater, whew. So my mom had always worked at, like, the makeup counters, and she always used this mascara, and I was always, like, like, because I, like, look at all the ma mascara, and I'd be like, oh, there's that one so pretty, and she would always pick up, like, the most boring mascara, and honestly, I used it today, and I, like, it's, it's, like, the brush, like, look how boring the brush is, like, it's honestly the most boring thing ever, it's the formula, it is the, it's just the most amazing formula I've ever used, like, words don't even describe how much I love this mascara so yeah gonna apply a coat of that to your lashes I kind of wiggle on my brush I do do that little wiggle thing it might look weird but it works Okay, then I'm going to take Falsies Mascara from Maybelline, which I am in freaking love with right now, too. And I'm going to apply a coat of that. Okay, these ones, these ones on this side, like, really got clumpy, and it's kind of annoying. I hate when my eyelashes look different on both eyes. It, it drives me actually insane. Then I'm going to take this mascara and line it on my lower lashes. I find it's easier because it's curved. Just a small amount. Okay, and if you're thinking, okay, well, that's not that summery, Nicole. What I'm going to do is I take... Um, this teal eyeliner, and yes, it is from Ardeen's, um, but it's freaking amazing, so. Oh, crap, I'm going to have to do, like, the face part and lips part in another, another video. So, you know what? Um, I'm going to save this, and this is going to be, like, the big surprise. All right, talk to you later. See you in the next video. Bye, beauty cuties.